The power of his dream brings you here. His man, Sean Carlard. I also struggle with time management. How do you get over and through this? Oh, please, please, please let me tell you how. The way you get over time management is I've been to seminar after seminar after seminar. I can only tell you how it works for me. No fancy diary or anything. Just get a diary. Get anything you can. Uh, I use it. Everything is on my phone. My Bible's on my phone. Everything gets done. I've got a smartphone. And on the smartphone, which is the super fast slow phone, is a calendar. Every single thing you do, Mark, must be by appointment and by appointment only. Then when you do that, so what we do is maybe I'll, I'll spend a moment with you guys teaching this. It's, it's very, very important. I did do a YouTube clip with uh, somebody who was at Russell Fox and maybe we can send you that clip. But the way that it works is this. We have non-negotiables in our life. And the five areas that I concentrate on as a lifestyle coach is the area of financial, social, spiritual, uh, mental, and obviously physical. Now, there's no particular order, but all those ingredients need to be in place. Like making a coffee, cup of coffee, how we discussed decision-making with the Ultimate Leadership course last week, is you need all the ingredients in place in the right condition, and then you've got what you need to make it happen. So it's let's go through them again. Financial, physical, mental, social, and and spiritual okay all those five areas you have to have them in place so now all f those five areas you need to put time towards those you do so when are you going to look after yourself physically like in health wise then how are you going to look your after yourself mentally how are you thinking what are you doing to grow yourself like i do i'm reading the books and i'm spending time with people who are knowledgeable i will find information to grow my brain physically Maybe start a new course, some, try something new, okay? So, and then also spending time with people that help you think straight. So what is your brain mentally in the way that you think, all right? So that's physical, that's mental. Then you've got, uh, let's do spiritual. You need to have an absolute in your life. Something that is there yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And for me, you can choose your spiritual path. But if your path, the best path i found that can give me a non-negotiable that is there Every time, it's the Word of God. So for me, the Word of God, it's there yesterday, it's here today, and it will be there tomorrow. So spiritually, I look after myself within the biblical arena. Okay, Financially, not whether you have lots of money, it's kind of where's your brain when it comes to money. Do you understand that money is just a tool, as everything else is? Your voice is a tool, your body language is a tool. Everything is a tool to enhance your value adding to this world. All right. So your outlook at money of money, and then how do you handle that money, and do you handle it correctly? Because that's a skill in its own. And then sociable, your two primary relationships. If I say father, if I say mother, how do you feel inside? Do you feel satisfied or do you feel empty? That's got to be worked on. Then your primary relationships. So if you ha have a, a spouse. Are you spending 18 hours a week minimum together? And are you having date night? Primary. Mommies and daddies who spend time together stay together. Very, very important. And then when you're going to go into um, your other relationships, when do you spend time as a family? You and the kids. That needs to be by appointment. Every single one of these things needs to be in your diary. And a specific time, a specific place. And if you look at mine, mine looks like a Christmas tree. It's full of colors as to I, I um, color the different things that I do. Your why, you have to be living your why. That needs to be put in. That could be your job. How are you adding value through that that God's called you to? And with the sociable is, is you spending time with your primary relationship. You're spending time with your, your primary relationships within your family, your kids. And then when do you, we had a family dinner yesterday where the bigger family came together and we celebrated around a meal. Then growing your relationships sociably with people you want to add to your family. And then you personally, people that can speak into your life, people that believe in you and your dreams more than you do until one day you believe it too. Those are your non-negotiables. Those are the things that need to be in place. So when those are all there, you are really rocking and you've got to keep them balanced at all times. You put it into a diary. If you phone me, I've got a new thing that I do now is I want to say yes to everybody. 
And as we discussed earlier, we've got to say no. That was discussed in James today. Let you yes be your yes, your no be your no. So I don't make appointments anymore. You contact my wife, who's my admin lady. And she will say, yes, Sean can do this or Sean can't. Because I will kind of say yes to one thing where I should be saying no because I've got to focus on something else or somebody else. I hope that makes sense. If not, well, at least you understand. The power of his dream brings you here. His man, Sean Carlard.